After slicing the plate and visually approving your settings in preview, we can send the file to our printer by clicking on the Print Plate button in the top right. A new window will open displaying the file name, a small print preview, estimated time, and weight of a filament used. If you have an AMS, it will show you the material type and colors needed for the print. It also shows the colors located within the AMS. The orange color is located in slot 4 in this example. It's also possible here to assign new colors to the model by switching to a different slot. Notice the preview changing colors. Below, you can choose the printer you would like to send the file to. If you don't see your printer, make sure it's powered on and hit refresh. Once your printer is selected, you can enable or disable bed leveling, flow dynamics, and time lapse. Since we are printing with the AMS, we will have this enabled. Disable this to print from the external spool holder for a single color printing. When everything is correct, click Send to begin printing. Next to the Print Play button, there is a drop-down. Here, you have some other options for what to do with the sliced file. Print All will send all sliced plates if you are using multiple plates in your project. Send and Send All will send the file to the printer's local storage. Export and Export All will send the G-code to any destination you choose. In our next video, we will go over the Device tab to monitor our print.